Hello, here we are, everyone, back for another Golf Clash tutorial here, Port Hello Cove, hole number nine. And big tailwind here. Um, probably going to go towards the left when it, whenever I can. And in a tailwind situation like this, you've got to be looking at kind of maybe about plus 30%, more or less. It's kind of a landing zone, so very close to one per ring. So as I stretch this out, you know, you might just want to take a look and try to get your spin set as to how you want to go about doing this. Keep in mind that, uh, you know, where power is, the edge of the fairway is about 10 rings. So I'm going to pull back some additional rings, you know, at least two or three more, kind of one per ring, very little curl or anything fancy. Hopefully just land towards the north half of the fairway and hopefully with that curl, be able to get it over here aggressively. And that looks pretty good overall. So you can see, you know, you might want to kind of study what I was doing there. Um, you know, especially if you're a little unsure, you can see, you know, with the plus 30%, it's about uh, uh, one per ring almost on a, a POC 5. And when I stretch out, I can see that the tip of the bullseye is almost in the rough. And you could also see that the bottom tip is almost at the over max power line. So that tells us that that range is about 10 rings. So all you saw me do was pull for max, maybe about three, four, three to four rings, just to kind of over account to make sure that I don't clip the rough. And, uh, you know, very good um, execution. Now, you can go over to this right. Um, you know, it, you, you really don't know the win that you're going to get second, though. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. No matter what the wind is for me, I'm going to be able to get there. My opponent may not. But it looks like he got a tailwind, so we're both going to have green light. So in this scenario, it's going to work out, but just something to be thinking about, um, you know, to be a little bit safer. You're probably better off uh, not doing that. So what you're going to see me do here is try to estimate my land zone. You know, I'm going to have about 10 rings of power, so I'm going to need very, very little. And I'm just going to kind of visualize 10 rings up as kind of my landing zone. And as I mentioned, you know, I'm going to do very little power wise. You can see that I'm only getting kind of a little bit of a shaky needle. And I'm going to use my landscape curl to make sure that I get this ball over enough. So here you can see that it just kind of shoots over a little bit too much. But it's better to kind of be safe than sorry there. Um, so you might, you know, if you have the opportunity to go landscape, I do recommend doing it. Um, however, you could play a little bit more aggressive towards the right and use full foam curl as well. But do be sure to not land centered in the fairway if you're not going to go landscape. But here you can see kind of exactly what I was mentioning. Any headwind scenario, my opponent is really going to be struggling through this hole. So this is a very risk reward type drive, especially if you don't drive it towards the end of the fairway like my opponent did. But in this scenario, you know, it does technically give you a very good, reasonable al al albatross opportunity as well. So there you can see that, uh, you know, it did have a very good chance to run out into the cup. But also, you know, it's going to, you know, be a very isolated case in which you'll be able to do that. So now what I'll typically do here is maybe just a little bit of spin. Um, you know, it, this isn't even going to be quarter club, so I'm not even going to bother, you know, sizing this up. You're going to see that I'm just going to kind of keep it inside hole here and uh, you know, hopefully get my perfect ball. It looks like I did. So it should just roll up right into kind of the center. Put it out on the edge, roll it into the center kind of. So very little win there that you need to play. Um, good luck with this hole. You can see, you know, this was kind of, uh, the best case scenario, um, in, in the most situations, you're going to see me go over towards the left there when I can. Um, there'll be very isolated instances where I recommend going to the right just because of, you know, the tragedy that could, you know, even if I got a headwind straight in the face, I could have just blasted it down there and got it to where I just did. So keep that in mind and catch you guys on the shootout.